Hey guys, it's your boy Scandia, and today I'm going to be showing you part 2 of my Cartoonize Yourself or Any Pictures tutorial. Now, yesterday I shown you the basics of using the pen tool, so if you did follow that, then you should have something that looks quite similar to what I've got here. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out just so you can have a little look. Oops. So you should have a sort of a basic outline. Now what I'm going to show you how to do today is filling these in, making it look a little bit thicker, changing the thickness and also I'm going to start on colouring as well. So if you could just put this back on. So what you want to do, after you've done your outline, you want to press control and make the selection that you want to use. So I'll click on that, that's already selected for me so you can see there, that that's selected from here all the way up, all the way around, up to here. Now, if you finish the line and you want to start a fresh one, what you want to do is press Control and then click on the area where you want to start and you see how it changes to a, from a pen to um, the normal mouse tool. Then you click, let go of Control and then click where you want to start again. Now this is really useful as well because if you want to do different thicknesses like I'm going to, then the lines are completely separate. So if I click Control and click this selection, and I want to make that one thickness and then this another thickness it just makes it a little bit easier for me to do that okay so I'll just bring this back on and then come back into over here so before you do anything make sure you've got your brush tool on I'm gonna have my thickness at about say about eight and make sure your hardness is on a hundred your opacity is on a hundred and your flow is on 100 as well. Obviously the colour I'm going to use is black. So once you've done that you want to go back to your pen tool and then right click over it when you've got the plus stroke sub path or stroke path and then make sure it says brush and then OK. So if we just zoom out here a little bit and take that off then you can see that this now has a thicker black line over it and then if I just click that there you can see exactly what it looks like so I'm going to change the thickness of this I'm going to finish all of the finer details and put all the lines around them and then I'll start on the colouring with you so once you've put in all of your outlines you should have something that looks quite similar to this then what you want to do is do all of your thicknesses and everything as I said but make sure once you finish your thicknesses you want to delete the selection so I'll click on this again control and click and then right click and then you want to delete path so what that will do for you is it will get rid of the, um, the, the sort of the pen tool selection and it will just leave you with the black lines that are left over so you can't edit that anymore but that's done and it's good to go so on your new layer what you want to do from there is you want to go onto your brush tool if you want to change the size of your brush tool you can use the brackets that are underneath the plus and return keys so as you can see that's changing 200, 175 and everything like that and then you want to sort of grab a neutral colour now because this car has got a lot of different tones on it I am going to have to do quite a bit of blending but just for the sake of this tutorial and just to show you I'm just going to grab one colour so you want to press alt and then this will bring up your dropper and then you want to try and find a good rich colour so as I click around here you can see in the top right hand corner um, the colour changing around see as I, as I move around so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one colour take that down a little bit and then zoom in and then I'm going to just begin to colour in now for the sake of this I'm going to have my opacity at 100 flow at 100 and also have my hardness at 100 to change stuff like this there is a tutorial on blending which take a look at I'll leave the link in the description for you as well but to start off you always want to start with one solid color and then start to move around so just like that get one solid color go all the way all the way around all your outlines and everything like that and then once that's done you can then begin to start doing your shading and all the different types of colouring and also light effects which I will cover in another video but thanks guys I hope you like share and subscribe